Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. We are not on site, we're in Cologne at the Dach Holtz uh, wood, uh, Timber and Carpentry Show, Roof and Carpentry Show, sorry. And we are currently 45 meters from floor level. And this is what it feels like for Ed normal days walking <laughs> around. So um, you, cause you know, it, you know <laughs> Ed's, you know Ed's a lot taller than me. So I could actually sense what it's like being tall for once. But um, no, it's absolutely phenom phenomenal here. And this is a great way to start the show, just to have a look at Cologne in general. And we're going to go inside and sort of meet some of the exhibitors here as well and look for some technology and innovation, stuff that we might not see every day in the UK. Oh, it's in English. Fuck, it's the English. Yes. yes Thank Wonderful. you so much. How, how many meters are we going to go up? Um, so we're three people, so we should be good to go for some 47 meters. 47, 47 meters. meters. It's 150 okay. feet plus straight up in the air from a truck mounted crane. I mean, that's incredible, isn't it? So we're at Dash and Holtz in Cologne. This is our trip to the exhibition and we've already been in and had a good look around and seen loads of stuff. Felix, who is operating. Our life is in his hands yeah. right now. <laughs> and we, we don't mind heights, we build roofs. That's what we do. But this is on a different level because when you're in a, a thing like this, there's nothing between us and the ground. We're safely harnessed on. We've got high vis in case there's any low flying aircraft. <laughs> I, I need think. a beacon on top of my head. I know. And the guys have kindly, this is a firm called Bocker, how do you say? Yes, uh, in German you would pronounce it Böcker, but the international way would be Böcker, right? Okay, yeah. and yeah. just out of interest, yeah. how much does a vehicle like this cost? Uh, so in this configuration you're looking at some 580 to 600,000 euros. So yeah. it's about half a million pounds for a truck like this, and in fact, I reckon that's pretty good, especially if you've got work which you need to go up several stories. I mean, look at all the cladding that we need to be replacing all over the buildings in England. Oh, now you know? we're moving. Now we're nearly at the top of the actual exhibition center. It's super oh. smooth, it's super smooth. How much does this lorry weigh? It's a 32 ton truck. In this configuration, you're looking at some 29, 30 uh, ton on the road, yeah. Wow. 30 tons, oh. I mean, phenomenal. <laughs> now, are we going up more? Yes, of course. So oh. we're just at 20 or 19 meters at the, uh, at the moment and there's some, yeah. 30 meters more to go almost. <laughs> I mean, oh my uh, god! We're only about uh, less than halfway up for the capacity of this machine. So, in stories, I would say, from a guess, this is 10 stories plus. I mean, you can see um, around us that we're, you know, we're, we're getting up with these high buildings. It's phenomenal. You can feel that this machine really benefits from. Um, being a crane in the first place, so the platform option is just, um, let's say, the um, secondary option. So ah. in, f in, uh, in the first place is the crane, so it's built a lot more stable than a usual uh, work platform. So that's why we have such a yeah, smooth and stable ride, because um, all the dimensions of the material and the structure is uh, yeah, designed to uh, lift even uh, more load than just the basket with uh, some people, because yeah, um, it's definitely so German engineer. Just, yeah. just out of interest, with regards to the load, so what can you safely carry to a, to a pretty good height at 45 degrees? What would be the load if it was a crane? The maximum load, of course, always changes. Um, um, with considering the distance, the, distance, you, yeah, the height, the uh, right, jib distance. Um, and main boom angle extension, extension length of the jib, so there's a lot of yeah, moving parts. Yeah, many variables. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But to give you an idea, so the, 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 the truck, which is a key figure, breaks one ton to 34 meters of distance. So, one ton, that's yeah. amazing. One ton at 34 meters of distance. So we are now 35 meters off the ground. Oh, is that what we are? Yeah, yeah. Can you see it on the Yeah, yeah, so that's there's a little control going. here. This is absolutely incredible. It's so smooth, it's ridiculous. 42.2 I mean, meters. 42.2 meters. So now we are rotating. So where are we rotating from? The actual, from the lorry. All the movement is happening down there at the bottom of the arm. And will it go 360 degrees? Yes, you can. You, you it, don't have to come back? No, it's, it's endless rotation, so you can. Yeah, which is brilliant, isn't you it? You can just spin all day if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're now 40, what did you say? We are now currently 42.2 wow. meters. Is that us maxed out? No, no, so uh -huh. I'm just going to bring us back in the, let's say, 180 degree position and then I can also... Because uh, um, I can see we've got a little bit left here. Yeah, to right. Go <laughs> the, the, the jib is still all the way in, or almost all the way in. 
That's the maximum. Now it's saying Ed's too heavy. <laughs> and I actually feel really at home up here. If you're not one for height, well, you know, it's, um, yeah. I think this is, this is absolutely mint. Well, this has been absolutely amazing to get We're up here. high, I'd say as high as those cranes over there. Sometimes, even though I like heights and I climb roofs, they're never this high, obviously, but there's no shake or no wobble. There's no need to feel alarmed. Apart from that Except bit. from that. <laughs> I think that was Jacob. That's not bad. So this is one of the halls at Dash Holtz, and this is probably a lot to do with, I mean, look at this here. This structure is all CLT. Well, it looks like CLT. I think it's actually clad. So a lot of cross-laminated timber here. Lots of machinery. It's absolutely mad, really, when you have a look around. Um, yeah, I mean, the technology in timber construction is phenomenal. In fact, there's so much to take in like it's impossible to take it in. Look, we've got Lego blocks made out of timber here. And I think that, you know, whether you like it or not, technology is going to be at the forefront of our industry if it hasn't already been in the last 20 years, but it's even more so now. Where we're going to be getting stuff which is all produced by robots, delivered to site on driverless lorries, and probably erected by a self-erecting crane and a couple of operators. I think you've got to embrace it and be in the forefront, the yeah, forefront of the technology. Absolutely. If you're a friend of the technology, it'll look after you and not replace you. you so, we're yeah. just coming up to the competition area now. So there is a group of chippies from all over the all over Europe. Europe, yeah. And they are challenged to make a interesting, tricky roof. Yeah. Um, and they are based over here. We had Morning. a little look yesterday. How you all doing? <laughs> we had a little look yesterday and they were just setting out their floor plan of the roof structure and we got some progress. These guys, their tools are all laid out beautifully. They got lots of Japanese pool saws, lots of Mafel, lots they're of They're actually making festival. great they're actually making great progress. Yeah, really nice. So we've got Italy over here. Ed, check out the square. You know my one is gonna be made also from oh, a, yeah, yeah, the acrylic, the acrylic acrylic material as well. So isn't that inspiring to think that that's something already adopted by our European brothers and sisters in the trade? Wow, that's brilliant. Look how um, clean that is. Yeah, this is, this is amazing, isn't it? This is absolutely perfect. So that's the roof structure you were talking about yesterday with all the different pitches. Yeah, so that roof, roof structure has gables in one plane or in one pitch. And then it has a raking ridge which goes back up towards this steeper pitch at the top which means that all the rafters are changing angles. So let's say it was 30 at the front. By the time we're getting to the back, it's a lot shallower. It's more like 20 because it's rising on the other gable as well. But the actual apex is higher than the ridge. This is completely different. I mean, that's phenomenal. This chap over here is whack oiling his saw, his pool saw after each cut is done. He's just finished using it and he's wiping it down with some oil now. Let's I go mean, around and take a closer look. They absolutely look. Love, love their tools here. Let's go take a closer look. So this what is, they're following. This is what the guys are making. It's an elaborate structure. It's an elaborate roof structure, to be fair. We've got all kinds of compound cuts, angles, bird's mouths, Tenons, intersections. It certainly isn't an easy job for them to do. But it's absolutely phenomenal. And how they've even leveled the roof structures on the floor, packed them up and got them completely level, make their life a bit easier. I'll have a look over here. This, this has got some good progression over here. Cheers. Wow. It's pretty special. Yeah, it's amazing. Here we go. These are some completed pieces here. And just the quality of the work is first, absolutely first class. These guys are at the top of their game guys and girls are at the top of their game. So this is traditional dress, absolutely incredible. This goes back so many years. And what's your name? Hannes. Hannes, nice to meet you, Hannes. Nice to meet you. Uh, carpenter, Carpenter, uh, Zimmerman. 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 Zimmerman, there we go, yeah. Nice to see you, fantastic outfit. Cheers. Thank you, sir.
I know that that means beer garden now because I've been learning the lingo and the most important thing to learn is beer and garden if you ask me. And it's never too early for a beer because it's always lunchtime somewhere in the world. As usual, I'm flanked by two giants because everyone around me, let me just...